coming up on today's episode of Airborne Next Gen. Third Joby production prototype completed, fourth on the way. Heinen Brothers Agri Services becomes first pika buyer in U.S. And Goldfinch first piloted E-Aircraft flying at NASA Langley. And I'm your host, Helen Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Next Gen Program, a weekly news program covering the next generation of flight, from electric power to vertical lift, uncrewed vehicles, and everything in between. Let's get into today's stories. Third Joby production prototype completed, fourth on the way. Joby Aviation, the Santa Cruz, California-based electric aircraft manufacturer, announced the third production prototype aircraft has been completed on the production line in Marina, California. A fourth aircraft is expected to be finished in the coming weeks, and its flight testing is expected to begin during quarter four of this year. The company also issued its second quarter 2024 shareholder letter containing the financial and operational results for the period ending June 30, 2024. As put out by the company, the highlights for quarter two were 1. Production ramp-up. The first two production prototypes are in flight tests now, and the company expects to have four aircraft in flight tests during quarter four. 2. Certification progress. Fourth of five stages now at 37% complete, progress expected to speed up during quarter four. 3. International expansion. Certification applied for in Australia. MOU signed with Saudi Aramco subsidiary Mukamala. 4. Future tech. Flew first of its kind hydrogen electric air taxi demo more than 550 miles and acquired autonomy division of X-Wing, a leader in aviation autonomy tech development. And 5. Financial foundation. Balance sheet in strong position with $825 million in cash. After the break, Chinese rocket breaks apart in low Earth orbit. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now for some shorter stories in our next gen minute. Chinese rocket breaks apart in low Earth orbit. A Chinese Long March 6A rocket was launched from Taiwan Satellite Launch Center on August 6, 2024. Shortly after, observers noticed that the craft's second stage seemed to break apart. The U.S. Base Command later confirmed this on social media and continues to track the debris. This rocket is the first deployment of the Shanghai Spacecom Satellite Technology Group's Thousand Sails constellation. It successfully launched 18 satellites into space and will eventually contain nearly 1,300. There are plans, however, to expand the mega constellation's capacity to around 14,000. Archer shows off high volume production line. Archer Aviation's biggest facility yet is just about ready, as the firm announced the completion of a 400,000-square-foot factory by year's end. The new facility is based in Covington, Georgia, one of those states that seems to be just a cut above the rest when it comes to sweet-talking prospective business tenants. The state is pretty friendly with Archer already, as seen from the attendance of government personnel at a recent showcase of the Midnight Evital at DeKalb Peachtree Municipal Airport. 
Outpost Technologies gets USAF contract for space cargo. The U.S. Air Force has chosen a little-known space cargo outfitter with an eye towards, quote, warehousing in space, end quote, stationing equipment in orbit for later use. The firm broke the news with a tweet announcing, quote, Outpost has been awarded a $1.25 million contract with the U.S. Air Force to develop the capability to use ferryall and carryall to warehouse cargo on orbit for just-in-time delivery anywhere on Earth. Avionics Networks and Viasat integrate satellite link for UAVs. Viasat has announced the integration of its Valeris L-band satellite terminal with a multi-link communications terminal by Avionics Networks for uncrewed aerial vehicles. Viasat is committed to continually evolving and developing the Valeris technology to keep it at the forefront of beyond visual line-of-sight communication systems for drone controls. Valeris is a dedicated BVLOS SATCOM service for UAVs and advanced air mobility aircraft. The LECO Solaris connectivity solution from Avionics Networks brings increased bandwidth to multiple customers and delivering connectivity when it's most needed. That was our Next Gen Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Heinen Brothers Agra Services becomes first PICA buyer in U.S. PICA has announced their first U.S. purchaser is Heinen Brothers Agri Services, one of the largest aerial application providers in North America. Heinen Brothers will begin integrating the aircraft into their extensive ag fleet. This will enhance the company's capabilities in the South, Midwest, and Western U.S., and the large-scale automation will enable the delivery of its aerial application services during times of peak customer demand. Just a year ago, in August 2023, PICA received FAA authorization for commercial operation of Pelican Spray, the largest UAS ever authorized by the FAA for commercial use. Lucas Koch, Chief Technology Officer at Heinen Brothers Agro Services, says, quote, We've been eagerly anticipating the opportunity to begin operations with Pelican Spray. As experts in aerial application, we see the potential for uncrewed aerial systems to revolutionize our industry, offering significant cost-saving benefits to American farmers. Pelican Spray is the first autonomous agricultural solution that delivers the necessary work rate and spray performance needed to provide a viable commercial solution to begin augmenting our current fleet." End quote. After these messages, Goldfinch is first piloted e-aircraft flying at NASA Langley. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 Remote Pilot Certificate or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. For over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Welcome back. Goldfinch is first piloted e-aircraft flying at NASA Langley. Electra's hybrid electric e-stall demonstrator, the EL2 Goldfinch, successfully completed a demonstration of its stall and flight capabilities at NASA's Langley Research Center in Hampton, Virginia. Electra and NASA are collaborating on advanced air mobility research, development, demonstrations, and information sharing under the auspices of a NASA Space Act agreement. Separately, under a NASA Small Business Innovation Research Project, Electra is developing a solar electric high-altitude long-endurance aircraft called the High Altitude Performance Station. 
The demo for NASA Langley highlighted the Eastole Goldfinch's use of distributed electric propulsion, with blown lift technology capable of taking off and landing in under 150 feet. The demo flight was conducted from Electra's Manassas, Virginia facility to NASA Langley, a 120-mile cross-country flight. In blown lift technology, airflow is directed over the wings and trailing edge flaps by an array of propellers driven by their own motors. The accelerated airflow creates a sheet of air coming off the trailing edge that makes the wing behave larger than it actually is. Electra is developing a nine-passenger Eastole production aircraft intended for replacing short and medium distance trips of up to 500 miles. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.